That's about Okay. Let's take a look, guys. So, our story is what? What is Wong Ming Chung. the story or the journal of Wong Ming Chung? Okay. And can someone give me a general synopsis about what this is about? Give me a summary. A summary. A summary. A little boy. Good, okay, so he's with his uncle, okay, and is he just searching for gold because they want to go on an adventure? No. No, that's not it. Oh. What to study, huh? No, what to study. What to study. Alrighty, guys, so for the kids who are out today, let's make sure that we're being respectful and that they can hear. So we're paying attention, okay, so when we report this. Okay. Let's take a look. So what you first and foremost need to know is what the suffix... What is a suffix? It's the end of a word, okay? The suffix ENT. Okay? So on your sheet, I went ahead and provided you the example of different. Okay. The word differ means to be unlike. Okay? Unlike. So differ means unlike. And the word ENT means the quality of, okay? So this is the quality of. Yeah. So if I'm going to go ahead and qualify something, this is the quality of. So different means the quality of being unlike, which means two people are not alike, okay? If I go ahead and say two people are different, they are not alike. They have a quality of being unlike, okay? So for the test, it's going to say different means the quality of. Well, you need to make sure to know what the suffix is. Quality means like a characteristic or a classification. Okay. Good. Okay. So of course you're gonna to want to know what. SV. Your SV. Okay. Know that selection vocabulary. That's gonna help you tremendously. Make sure that you realize what those are. Some of the words that we have in there include what. Raggedy, rationed. Okay. Those are the words that you need to look for. Okay. Those are going to be helping you with your selection vocabulary to make sure that you're ready for those, okay? You're also going to want to make sure that you're understanding the sequence of events. Did we take kind of a test on a sequence of events? Yes. Yeah. Did we? Did we take a little bit of a, like a story? Yes. Yeah, did we? We read a story and, we, and it talked about the sequence of events. Remember, that's your comprehension skill for this week, okay? Yes. Try to put a paper in my pocket. Okay. So with this, you want to know the sequence of events in the story. Something particular that you want to focus on is the building of the rocker. Okay, the building of the rocker. Well, you're going to want to make sure that you look for that word, the rocker, okay? Because the rocker is going to go ahead and tell you a thing or two about what happens maybe right before or right after. You want to keep that in mind, okay? Rocker, and you're also going to want to somehow see how this connects to uncle, okay? There's something about the rocker and uncle. You need to make sure that you're focusing on that. To see what it can help you with, okay? Yeah, you're going to want to see a connection between the two, okay? Okay. You're also going to want to know a thing or two about point of view. The point of view. What is the point of view? Raylan? Of which someone sees this side of like a situation. Yeah, the way to see a situation or a story. Okay? So they're making sure that we're seeing it. So we have a couple different types of point of view, right? There is first person and third person. There's also second person. Well, we don't need to worry about it too much right now. 
First person is like if I see, all right? If I'm using the word I, me, my, okay? That's first person point of view. I, me, my, okay? That's indicating that I'm seeing everything, okay? And third person is saying, for instance, if... I just didn't remember who this one belonged That's to. Fine. I'm sorry. That's fine. That's fine. I knew somebody would say, where's my third protector? <laughs> yeah. And I brought you a little t-shirt. Oh, not a big, bright t-shirt. Oh, neon. Thank you. Yellow. 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 Okay, guys, so third person point of view. Can someone please explain to me what third person point of view is? Jacob, go ahead. Mike, whenever you're talking about somebody else. You're talking about somebody else, right? If you think about it, imagine it's somebody who is just observing the whole thing. What does it mean to observe? I hear the word look. Yeah, if you're looking at a situation, right, you're observing a situation. Third person, you are observing what's going on. Okay, so think about that word observe. You are talking about someone else or other people. But you won't say, say I, me, my, or anything like that, okay? You're going to be talking about other people. Okay? So in this story, guys, is this first person or third person point of view? Who thinks first person? Raise your hand. Who thinks first person point of view? Wong Ming Chung. I'm confused. <laughs> Wait, what was the word? <laughs> first person, third person. Which point of view is the story? Journal Wong Ming Chung. Who thinks first person? Raise your hand. Oh. Every hand should be up, guys, because it is first person point of view, okay? Good. Monday, Monday, Monday. <laughs> okay. I was waiting to see if they recognized Oh my god. Which is, which is, y'all know what the word formal means, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Formal. Formal. So think about formal. Like, formal like, writing. Uh, format. No, formal. Okay. Never like if you, if you dress up something, if you, if you expect to be uh, uh, dressed up. So is first person or third person more formal? Well, if it wasn't first, it must be third, right? <laughs> Why is why do you think it's third? Do I ever want you to be writing about your writing? No. Like if I go ahead and say I am going to be writing about this today, do I ever want that? No, no negative. That's first person writing, right? So what would we probably want to make it sound like? Third person. I think that's what Ms. Weimer's getting at to make sure that we are. Yeah. Right. Oh, first. Okay. I'll yes, you. Okay. okay. So in third person point of view, she can be like, she said, she did this. Right, right. And the second person point of view that we touched on a little bit, uses a lot of the you and your pronoun, but we're not going to worry about that. Too. Yes, Riley. All right. So with this too, guys, you need to make sure that you understand the beginning, the middle, and the end, Mr. Rhodes. Why do you think it's important to know what the beginning, the middle, and the end are of this story? Joe. Yeah, remember? What is the beginning, the middle, and the end? What is that also known as? Sequence of events. The sequence of events. Yeah, so you definitely want to make sure that you're understanding the sequence of events. What happens first, second, third, okay? Also, think about this, guys. When people are talking with Uncle and Wong Ming Chung, okay? Uncle and... Wong Ming Chung. I think it's his first one. Uncle and Wong Ming Chung. So with that, when they're talking, do they get a lot of respect from other other people? No. Not a lot, right? They don't get a whole lot of respect from the people that are talking to them. What happens a lot of the time? What do they do to make themselves seem? I don't know. I suppose. Yeah, just make, make sure that they don't seem like they necessarily know what's going on, Ray? Oh, I was catching... Okay, does anyone have anything to add to that? Nope. <laughs> well, think about that. Think about the way that they interact with other people, okay? When people come up and they ask them questions, for instance, what do they say? Like, what happens? What do... Do they carry on full conversations? Okay. No. They go ahead and they smile and they don't say a whole lot, Right? They do that for a reason. Why would they do that? Why would they do that? Yeah, that's a really great word. I like the way she used that word. So people don't get suspicious. 
Because if they think all of a sudden that these people who are uh, coming in to go ahead and get gold, they're going to think, oh, they know what they're doing, right? And what's going to happen with that gold that's in their pocket? They're going to stall. It's going to become someone else's, right? So they're trying to be really, really careful with the way that they're presenting themselves and making sure that they sound a little less intelligent than they actually are. And that's just to be sneaky. That's to kind of do like a ploy so that that's nobody... Me. So they don't think what's going on with them, all right? Very good. So you want to think about that with Uncle and Wong Ming Chung's interaction. What does it mean to interact? If Madison Adams and I are interacting, if we're talking right now, we're going back and forth. Like I'm talking to her, she's talking to me. That's interacting. Because it's not just me, right? It's not just me talking. It's her and I talking, right? We're interacting together. Okay, which means we're going back and forth. So if I use the word interactions, I'm talking about Uncle and Wang Ming Chung along with the other people who are in the area, right? Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. So the whole point of this, guys, is that they're headed west for the gold rush, right? But are they trying to send gold to China? What are they trying to send to, Cho uh, to China, back home? Money. money. Yeah, they want that money, right? Elizabeth, why do they want to send money back home? Yeah, they want to send money back home for their family. They want to send money back home for their family, not only to go ahead and benefit their family, but also to kind of what? What do they want to do? Give them money. Well, they want to bring. They want to give them money, but they want to do what with those people? Eventually, do what? Yeah, to the poor. Keep them alive. <laughs> okay, a little bit more. Monday, Monday, Monday. Buy rice. Bring them over, right? They want to go ahead and bring them over. They want to make sure that they are bringing them over eventually to immigrate to the United States because it costs a lot, right? We talked about that. It's expensive to immigrate, and so they want to make sure that they are getting money first. Okay. Well, that's why they're collecting gold dust. Well, with the gold dust, remember, they're going around to each uh, plot of land that's already been mined, right? They've already gone through there. People are leaving little bits and pieces of that gold behind. So when they do that, eventually that gold adds up. Remember, we talked about the pennies, right? Eventually, if you pick up a penny, a penny, a penny, a penny, eventually it's going to add up, right? Yes. So that's the whole idea with the gold dust. I'm, they, they might get lucky and find like a lot of gold, but if they're just collecting the gold dust, eventually it's going to add up, right? right. So, so that's why they do that. But is it like one bar of gold like Well, it depends on it. Really, just the exchange rate. Okay. Okay, with this, guys, we want to go ahead and take a look. There's a few things that I'm not going to write down on here, but I, I do have written on your review sheet. That's going to be focusing primarily on just English elements. You want to make sure that you're understanding correct punctuation, including apostrophes, there, 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 then, and then, uh, type sentences, exclamatory, interrogative, imperative, and declarative. These things we should know by now. Yes, Joe? But lastly, the English is hard. Well, it's, it, it will be a little challenging, but you need to make sure to go ahead and take your time with it, okay? I did. I promise you'll be fine. Okay. Make sure to review these concepts that are out here. What you want to make sure that you do as well, guys, is that you look and when we're talking about the way the river looks, okay, does anyone remember the way the river looks? Um, yeah, the river bed. Was it smooth? Was no. the river smooth? No. What did it what did it have in it? Well I had it had rocks, it might have had rocks at one point, but there were a lot of holes in it, right? <coughs> and what are those holes from? Gold. Yeah, people digging it. They're going to go through and they're trying to go ahead and get that gold out, right? So they are mining, they're looking for that, that uh, gold. So what's going to happen is they're digging up that river, and it's going to end up looking like there's a bunch of cannonball blasts almost. Like they're just, it's just going to be very, very messy, not very smooth. Yes? Huh? The way the river looks. It's got holes in it. Elizabeth. Okay, 
Right. Well, that's right. Mines, like a physical place, a mine can be underground. But if you're mining for gold, that could also mean that you're just digging and that you're looking around. You can go into a mine to look for gold, but you can also dig it up. Yes? Is that a dot between the LES and the HO? No, I don't. That's just something on my board. Oh. <laughs> okay. You're going to want to also know a thing or two about the fox. Okay? <laughs> Who the fox is? Okay. You gotta, you gotta want to know who the fox is and what significance he plays with both the nephew and the uncle. Okay, think about that. You're gonna want to see that interaction. Okay, uncle, nephew, the fox. Okay. What about, what about the gold? Do you think that the other Americans there? Do you think they think there's a lot of gold left over? No. 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 They probably don't. Okay. <laughs> The reason why they don't think there's a whole lot of gold left over. <laughs> River. 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 Okay. So think about the way that the Americans interact with Wong Ming Chung and Uncle, right? They kind of laugh at them every time they come around and, and they go to a claim. They're filing a claim. They're like, look, we've already been here, guys. There's no gold left, and they laugh at him. They kind of play it off, okay? So they think that there's no gold, at least no gold of any significance. But also that there's also that gold dust. Remember, they collect the gold dust that people end up leaving after. They don't think that the gold dust is going to actually matter. So they go around, and they start sweeping it up, and uh, sweeping it up, and eventually it adds up, right? So that's why it's there. Good. Okay. And last but not least... Why would somebody want to look raggedy? What does it mean to look raggedy? Yeah. Abigail. So they were trying to not be suspicious that they had gold. Good, exactly. Yeah, okay, so if, if I was all raggedy, okay, so say for instance, okay. <laughs> I'm just going to go ahead and use this as a prop. Okay, so say for instance, I go ahead and put this on. Oh, no. And I'm just... Uh, uh, do I look kind of raggedy? Do I look a little less professional than I would if I had my regular shirt on? Yeah, I look a little silly, right? Because I have this on, and this is almost like a t-shirt, right? So with this, guys, if I had this on, do I look like I would be a teacher if I'm just wearing this around? No. No. But if I go ahead and take this off, and I have my regular shirt on with my tags and everything like that, Mr. Rhodes, don't I look like a teacher now? Yes. Yes, I do. So, so the whole idea, guys, is that they are changing... The way that they look so that people aren't suspicious of them. That's the whole idea. <laughs> yes? This might not be the right question, but do you know anybody named Mike? It's not reading related, though, right? Do you know anybody named Mike? Alright, anything else reading related? Alright, good. <laughs> 